All right, Coach, first thoughts after a 30-10 loss to a uh, defending state champ. How do, you, how do you feel about your guys' effort? Uh, you know, I'm proud of our guys. You know, we stayed in it the whole night and, and fought, you know, every play. Uh, a couple silly mistakes. We fumble a kick return and we throw an interception in the red zone. And it's probably a little bit different of a game, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm proud of how hard they fought. Um, talk a little bit about, I mean, you guys fell back 22 nothing. I've scored them, what, 10, 10, 10 8 rest of the way. Um, yeah, I mean, what went into that? To tell, what, I mean, they're a fantastic team. You know, they're the champs for a reason. And, uh, you know, they played really well out front. And, and we kept telling our kids, just stay in the fight. You know, all week long, all the coaching cliches, you know, it's like Rocky Balboa versus Ivan Drago. No matter what happens, stay up, keep throwing punches, keep throwing punches. And I'm proud of the way we hung in there. Um, talk a little bit about third down or more specifically fourth downs. I think I had you guys five for six or something on fourth downs. What, what's going to that? Just play call, execution, uh, mindset of the kids? What, what, what works for you guys on, on that down? I, I'd say a little bit of both. You know, uh, I'm proud of the kids for how they played, but uh, our goal on first down was to get into second and manageables. So we did some quick hitters on first down, trying to keep it to something where if we got a fourth down and it was less than three, we could go, you know, and I, I'm proud. If we went five or six, that's great. Um, and just Overall, I mean, you kind of capped it up in the beginning of the interview, but what was the what was the key for for them today? Uh, you know, four years ago, uh, you know, we, we came to this program, my coaching staff and myself, and, and all the guys that came before these guys have been helping to fight and build this thing so that we could start to contend with some of these Mercer County teams. And I know we came up, you know, 20 points short, but the tail of the tape shows that we, we, we were right in the fight, and that's something we, we're going to hang our hats on that. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Yep, thank you. We're here with Jared Glossel of the Northwestern football team. Jared, first thoughts after that 30-10 loss to Farrell? Uh, first thoughts is uh, they're obviously a tough team. We played hard, uh, tough field conditions, uh, played our hearts out. Better team came out on top. Uh, both positive feedback from both teams. Uh, wish them luck in the next round, and uh, we're not done yet. we got one more game after this. Now, you guys were down 22 nothing early on and, and fought back. Uh, Made it made a 30 10 30 to 10 football game um what was the, what was the mentality just continuing to grind throughout the afternoon yeah we've got a good mentality of uh not not shutting down we're, we're pretty good at knowing we can come back we're confident in ourselves enough to start chipping away at that lead and we knew instantly once we stopped them on defense once that we, we could get them again and again and again now i counted five fourth down conversions by the offense today uh, what goes into that? I mean, it just backs against the wall knowing you guys have to convert to move the football and keep possession. Yeah, lots of pressure on fourth down. Uh, I think uh, it comes down to our guys being calm, knowing that they're comfortable in the position that they're in, and trusting our coaching staff to make the right plays. Any other thoughts? Uh, no, just good luck to uh, Farrell in the next round. All right, thanks. Thanks for the time. Here we are with Dylan Fry of the Northwestern football team. Dylan, first thoughts after uh, today's uh, 30 to 10 loss to Farrell. It was a tough loss, still hit me uh, slowly. Uh, but I think we fought hard. We really just put our heart and soul into it and just sent it all out and did our best. I mean, last year, a couple of years ago, we wouldn't have dreamed of putting up 10 points and would have probably lost by like 60 or 70. So progress of the years and just tough loss. Yeah, I mean, what does that show for, for some of you older guys having been through that process to, to get to where the program is today as opposed to where it was just a few years ago? We're really just putting our heart and soul into it, really uh, trying our best to just get better every day and week by week. What's the, uh, what's the attitude on the sideline? You guys trailing 22 to nothing uh, in the first half and uh, you know, kind of, kind of chipped away and made a lot of big plays along the way to to get back into the contest. Uh, we were really. I was just trying to get everybody motivated, get everybody's hearts up, heads up, and just keep a keep us in the game and just mentality. We're still in this. Don't quit. Don't stop. And uh, and then any other thoughts? I know you guys have another game next week. Looking forward to that one. Uh, it's not playoffs, but uh, I mean, go make the most of it. Senior year. Absolutely. Just have fun. As a senior, tell me a little bit about um, the fact that you guys weren't sure you were going to have a season, and what does it mean to you as a senior to have had the ability, you know, to, to had to have had the ability to play this year? To just be given the chance to play this year, it's just heartwarming, and then to make it to playoffs, it's better than I would have imagined my freshman year. So, 
just really amazing, and I'm proud of us as a team. Awesome. Dylan, appreciate the time.